Hello everyone. Uh, in the light of recent uh, DLL videos that I recorded, I now decided to record yet another one. And this one is about uh, creating and using resource DLLs. So first of all, what are resources? Uh, resources can be, for example, uh, images like bitmaps, JPEGs, uh, PNG, or any type of file whatsoever. It can be cursors, uh, resources can be uh, fonts, etc. So uh, we can imagine a, a resource as something that is uh, shared between uh, different modules. For example, let's say that you have uh, many application uh, applications sharing the same uh, company logo and company logo can be a resource that is located inside the DLL. And if it happens that logo changes uh, at some point, you simply update the DLL and your applications should update the logo uh, themselves so, uh, without even uh, uh, need to restart the application. So uh, how to create uh, a resource DLL? Well, uh, the the thing is that it's even easier than in the previous videos because when creating resource DLL, you don't need to write any code uh, by default. So here I have uh, my DLL uh, project and uh, by default it created file one with the DLL entry point function. That's pretty much all I need. So I don't need to write any additional code inside the DLL. So what I'll actually do, I'll just add a resource. So I go here to project uh, resource and images and make sure that your DLL uh, project is active. And uh, I'll add images. In this case, I'll add user bitmap. And this is a bitmap file. If I click open, it will add that bitmap file as a resource inside the DLL project. And it automatically uh, selected bitmap as a resource type because it recognizes bitmap images. And I'll just uh, rename this identifier. Uh, every resource has an identifier and I'll just name it user and I'll say uh, that is a bitmap resource and then I'll add another file but this is uh, pretty much the same resource but uh, it's in JPEG uh, format and as you can see it didn't recognize resource type as, as JPEG uh, or bitmap it specified RC data meaning resource data uh, anything that is not icon, bitmap, cursor, or font will be recognized as RC data. And RC data can be, or resource data can be understood as uh, binary content, meaning anything. It can be pretty much anything on the disk. Uh, it can be a Word file, Excel file, can be a JPEG, uh, PNG, pretty much anything you want. Okay, so RC data, and we'll give identify user. Um, and we'll specify JPEG so that we know that it is the uh, JPEG format uh, resource. Okay. And uh, those two files now, uh, as you can see, are added in our DLL project. And I'll just compile or build the DLL. So uh, let's see what happens. Uh, in the project options, I already said that uh, DLL is. Uh, created inside the application folder. So I'll just demonstrate. So shared options, uh, final output directory will be the uh, directory where the application is located. Okay, so it is the app folder. And as you can see here, so once I compile this DLL, it's going to be generated here in this application folder, as I already uh, showed here. So we can examine the content of uh, resource DLL by using various applications. Uh, one is uh, resource hacker, for example. And uh, I'll just drag and drop my, uh, my DLL here. And as you can see, he automatically recognized that, that there are two types of resources here. One is bitmap and the second one is RC data. So if I open bitmap, I can see uh, inside my DLL that I have a user bitmap resource. And if I open the RC data, I see uh, the user JPEG resource. So pretty much all my resources are inside the DLL. And that's what we wanted. We wanted to place resources inside the DLL. So now let's show uh, how to use those resources from inside the application. So if I switch here, uh, this is the application that contains the T image 
component and pretty much we'll use it to uh, show the image from DLL. And I'll show it in two different approaches by using, uh, by loading the image as a bitmap and by loading uh, image meaning the resource as JPEG. So if I click load from bitmap, I need to write the code here. So uh, in order not to waste time, I will already prepared code snippets here, just paste it. And what I do is uh, doing, um, what I do is simply uh, runtime DLL linking. So I load my DLL and uh, later on I will uh, free that DLL. But before I free it, I say, I say image one, and that is the, this component here, picture bitmap and load that bitmap from uh, DLL, okay, resource DLL. And what is the name of the resource? Because I'm loading here from a resource name and the resource name is user bitmap. Okay. And uh, if we return to DLL and we go to resources and images, we can see that user bitmap is the identifier of uh, this resource here. So if I run the application, it should pretty much uh, uh, load the DLL and then load the uh, user bitmap resource and show it here in this the image component. And here it is, very simple. Okay. But now let's uh, demonstrate uh, how to load JPEG from the allow because usually you would uh, use JPEG uh, over bitmap because bitmap uh, is a bit larger, right, uh, than JPEG. And so how to load a uh, JPEG resource from a file. I also have it here, just copy paste. Um, so in order to do that, uh, first of all, uh, you need to include the JPEG header here, okay? Because if you don't include this header, this uh, T-image component will not be able to load JPEG content into uh, into the component. And so, like I said, first include JPEG. Uh, you would do similar if you uh, use any other type of file, for example, PNG or TIFF or some other, uh, you would need to include the appropriate header. And in order to load JPEG, uh, first you need to uh, load that resource into a resource stream object. So first you need to create a resource stream object. And you simply say that resource stream object is going to be loading a resource from a resource DLL. Uh, and what is the resource name? Uh, user JPEG. Okay, we have here user bitmap, but here we have user JPEG and we, to, we need to specify what type of resource is user JPEG and that is RC data. Okay, and then we have the uh, T image component uh, where picture is loaded from stream and that is the uh, previously created uh, resource stream. So let's see. Load from bitmap, we already showed that that works, but now load from JPEG, user uh, JPEG not found from inside DLL. Okay, so let's see. I believe we called it like this. Let's just check it. Resource and images, user. Okay, so it's without E user JPEG. Let's see. Okay, so now it works. So these are two different approaches because if you work with bitmaps, it's, it's a lot easier because uh, there is already a, a bitmap pointer here that can be used uh, in order to load a bitmap resource from a DLL file, for example. But if you use any other type of file, you need to first uh, uh, load it into a resource stream and then uh, image component can load from stream itself. And that's pretty much uh, how it's done. So uh, you need to add those files into DLL 
and uh, name those resources accordingly. And then simply, if it's a bitmap, it's like I said, a lot easier, but if it's any other type of file, uh, you need to, for example, if you work with images, in this case, I work with JPEG, I need to include that header and uh, load this JPEG into resource stream and then image uh, component can load from stream. And this, this is not the only uh, example of uh, using a resource uh, resources from the DLL. For example, in Windows XP, there was a cards DLL and I already recorded video about uh, creating a memory game. You can find it, I believe, on my YouTube channel uh, where I use the cards DLL. And uh, that cards DLL comes with uh, Windows XP and it contains a set of cards that is used in, in games like Solitaire, etc. So if I use the same resource DLL and I drop, drag and drop here the cards DLL, you can see the cards here. Um, as resources, as bitmap resources that have identifiers one, two, three, four, five, and as you can see, then goes the other color, and I believe uh, there should be backgrounds later on. Okay, so what you can do is pretty much use the uh, cards DLL in your application as well. For example, to create uh, some card game. Uh, like I said, you can all, uh, you can watch the video about uh, creating. A memory card game uh, that uh, I published in this channel, but uh, I'll just show you um, quickly how to load the card from this cards DLL. So it's a cards DLL, and uh, what needs to be noticed that these uh, resources in cards DLL don't have a name, but uh, meaning they don't have a string identifier, they have a number identifier, and it's one, two, three, four, etc. So I'll just say. I don't uh, load from a resource name, I load from a resource ID. And that ID will be, for example, one. And here we go, we have first card. And if we want to load the second card, Okay, I believe the 14th card should be red. And set up. So pretty much uh, that's the approach you can use uh, because Cards DLL uh, is provided with um, Microsoft XP and can be uh, downloaded from various sites. So it's not a problem to, to get to it and it can be very useful, especially like I said, if you want to uh, develop uh, some card game, etc. And that's uh, how it's done. Uh, working with resource DLLs is pretty simple. You just create an empty DLL project, uh, you use project resource and images and just add those uh, image files or any other files uh, as resources. You name them, uh, you give them uh, identifiers. And like I said, if it's bitmaps, it's a lot easier, but if it's any other type of file, it will be uh, of resource data type and uh, when working with resource data type you need to load them into resource teams and then uh, use them accordingly. Uh, like always if you have any questions please uh, contact me down below and also if you have uh, ideas for any future videos these are also welcome. Thank you.